Hello everyone, welcome to the channel TopGate. In this video, we'll see one more problem on Turing machine, that is to design a Turing machine for the multiplication of two numbers. So in this one, I'm only concerned with the multiplication of unary numbers. So let's say we have two numbers. Let's say I have two and I'll multiply this two with three. So the answer should be six. That means I should have six ones here. So the approach that I will apply in this one will be, I'll take this first one and I will multiply this one with these three ones and the answer that I'll get will be three ones, correct? Then what I'll do, I'll come onto this side, again, I'll read this one and again, I'll multiply this one with these three ones and again, I'll get my answer as three ones and then I'll add these numbers and I'll get six ones here into the table, clear? So let's design the Turing machine for this particular multiplication of two numbers. Now, before designing, I would like to request everyone to please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Okay, now let's see how do we multiply these two numbers in unary form. So first of all, what I'll do, I'll take an input tape here. So let's take an input tape here. And this input tape can have infinite number of cells. Now what I'll do, I'll take two numbers in my input tape. Let's say I have the first B and then I have the first number. Let's say I'll take two and then I'll add one separator. That means just to tell that this is the first number and then we have the second number. So here I'll take one more number. Let's say I'll take three. So I've taken three. Again, I'll add one more separator. And then on this right hand side, after the separator, I will write my output. Okay. So I'm just adding blanks here. Clear? So this is my first number. This is my second number. And after the separator, I have my output here. So I'll print my output here onto the right hand side. I can write the output on the left hand side also. There is no problem. So I can either write on the right hand side or I can write on the left hand side. So there is absolutely no problem. So what I'll do, I will read this one and I'll change it to say B or I'll change it to any variable just to show that this one has been processed. So I'll read this one, change it to B and then I'll go on to the right hand side. While going on to the right hand side, I'll skip this one, I'll skip this 0 and then I'll change this 1 to x, okay. Then I'll come on to the right hand side while skipping this one, this one, this 0 and onto this b, I'll write my 1 here. Then from here, I'll take a left turn, I'll again come to the second one, I'll change it to x and then I'll again go on to the right hand side and change this b to 1. Again, I'll come back to the left side. Here, I'll read this one, change it to x, and again, I'll go on to the right hand side and change this b to 1. So, so far, I have read three ones, and three ones have been written here onto the tape. Now, again, on, I'll just take a left turn and I'll come here. And when I reach onto this one, what I will do, I will revert all these x to 1. Why? Because these ones have to be multiplied again with the second one. Okay. So the ones which I have made as x now will again be changed to 1 only and then I'll come back here, I'll change this one and I will repeat the whole cycle again and try to write my output here onto the right hand side of the tape, clear? Yeah? Okay, so let's design the Turing machine. Let's say we have taken a initial state as q0 and the pointer is on to the first one here. So the logic says that I will read this one and I will change this one to say B. Okay, so I'll read this one. That means if you find a one, you change it to B and go on to the right hand side and go on to state Q1. That means this one has been changed to B. So I'm just writing B here. Okay, and the pointer will now point on to the next one. So what I'll do now, I'll skip this one. Why? Because now I have to multiply this one with these three ones here onto the right hand side. Clear? So here I'll take a self loop. That means if you find a one, you let it be one only and go on to the right hand side. So this one will be skipped and the pointer will now point on to this separator or zero. So here I'll take a move. That means if you find a zero, you let it be zero only and go on to the right hand side and reach on to the state Q. 2. Done. And the pointer will now point on to this particular 1. Now, my target is to change this 1 to some variable. Okay. So, what I'll do, I'll take a move here. That means if you find a 1, you change it to x and go on to the 
right hand side reach on to the state q3 that means this one will be changed to x and the pointer will now point on to this particular one now all these ones have to be skipped okay and then this zero also has to be skipped so what i'll do here i'll take a self loop that means if you find a one you let it be one only and go on to the right hand side so these ones will be skipped and the pointer will now point on to this particular zero or separator here again i'll take a move that means if you find a zero you let it be zero only and go on to the right hand side so this means the zero will be skipped and the pointer will now point on to this blank and i will reach on to the state q4 okay now what i'll do i'll change this b to one i have processed one one here and then again what i'll do i'll just change this b to one i'll write my one output here so here what i'll do i'll take a move that means if you find a b you change it to one and go on to the left hand side now i don't have to go on to the right hand side now i'll again come back onto the left hand side and find my this one here okay so i'll reach on to the state q5 let's say and uh, this b will be changed to one and the pointer will now point on to this particular zero clear okay now this zero has to be skipped so what i'll do i'll take a move that means if you find a zero you let it be zero only and go on to the left hand side so this zero will be skipped and the pointer will now point on to this one let's make a state q6 here okay now all these ones have to be skipped so here i'll take a self loop that means if you find a one you let it be one go on to the left hand side so all these ones will be skipped and the pointer will point on to this x now which was earlier one okay and to the right of which i will find my next target that means from here i'll have i have to start my second cycle clear so what i'll do from here q6 i'll come back to q2 because from q2 i will again read uh, one change it to x so this move will be if you find the x you let it be x only and go on to the right hand side so all these ones will be skipped and the pointer will point on x and from x this move will be taken that means x will be x only and the pointer will now point on to this particular one and i am at state q2 now at q2 machine knows that one should be changed to x so this one will again be changed to x and the pointer will now point on to this one and i am at state q3 at q3 machine knows one should be skipped so this one will be skipped and the pointer will point on to this zero at q3 machine knows zero should be skipped so this zero will be skipped and i'll reach on to q4 and the pointer will point on to this one now okay and at q4 i don't have a move for one therefore i'll take a self loop here that means if you find a one you let it be one only and go on to the right hand side so this one will be skipped and the pointer will point on to this b and i am at state q4 at q4 machine knows that b should be changed to one so this move will be taken b will be changed to one so this b will be changed to one and the pointer will point on to the previous one now and i am at state q5 at q5 i have to skip this one so here again i'll take a self loop that means if you find a one you let it be one only go on to the left hand side so this one will be skipped and the pointer will point on to this particular zero clear now at q5 machine knows that zero should be skipped so this zero will be skipped and the pointer will come on to this particular one now and i am at state q6 at q6 machine again knows that one has to be skipped so this one will be skipped and the pointer will now point on to this particular x and i am at state q6 again at q6 machine knows that x x r that means x should be x and go on to the right hand side so this pointer will again point on to this one and i will reach on to the state q2 at q2 again it says 1xr so this one will be changed to x and the pointer will point on to this zero and i reach on to the state q3 at q3 it says zero should be skipped so this zero will be skipped and i'll reach on to this particular one and this will be q4 at q4 it says 11r that means all these ones will be skipped and the pointer will point on 
to this particular b now and i may state q4 at q4 machine again knows that this b should be changed to one so this b will be changed to one and the pointer will again point on to this previous one and i will be at state q5 at q5 all the ones will be skipped and i'll come on to zero again this move will be used zero will be skipped i'll come on to q6 and i'll be pointing on to this particular x now now at q6 it says x x r that means this pointer will now point on to this zero and i'll reach on to the state q2 okay now at q2 it says one should be changed to x but right now i'm not finding a x now i'm finding a zero finding a zero means that the second string is complete now second number is complete now therefore i again have to go back to the very first number okay so while going back to the first number what i'll do i'll again revert all these x to one so that they can be multiplied again with this second number here okay so right now i'm at state q2 and the pointer is pointing on to this zero now what i'll do here i'll take a move that means if you find a zero you let it be zero only and go on to the left hand side so this zero will be skipped and the pointer will point on to this particular x now and i'll reach on to the state say q3 not q3 uh, in fact q7 okay now what i'll do i will revert all these x to 1 so here i'll take a self loop that means if you find the x you make it as 1 and go on to the left hand side so all these x will be changed to one so this will be again one this will be again one this will be again one and the pointer will start pointing on to this particular zero and i am at state q7 okay now at q7 what i'll do i'll take a move that means if you find a zero you let it be zero only go on to the left hand side so this zero will be skipped and the pointer will start pointing on to this one now and the state will be say q8 okay now again this one has to be skipped so what i'll do here only i will take a move that means if you find a one you skip this one keep it as one only go on to the left hand side so this one will be skipped and the pointer will start pointing on to this particular blank now now from this blank i'll take a right turn and i'll again start my journey for this particular one therefore i have from here i'll come back to the initial state that is if you find a b you let it be b only go on to the right hand side so this b will be skipped and the pointer will start pointing on to this particular one now okay and i am at state q naught okay so this is uh, the first cycle i've completed let's see how can i complete the second cycle now machine is complete and few more transitions have to be added here let's see what are what are the transitions that we can add here so we are at state q naught at q naught the pointer is at one it says that one br so this one will be changed to b and the pointer will start pointing on to the zero and we are at state q1 at q1 machine knows that zero should be skipped so this zero will be skipped and the pointer will point on to this particular one now and i'm at state q2 at q2 machine knows one should be changed to x so this move will be taken this one will be changed to x and the pointer will come on to the next one and the state will be q3 at q3 machine knows one should be skipped so all these ones will be skipped and the pointer will come on to this zero at q3 machine knows zero should be skipped so this this zero will be skipped and the pointer will point on to this particular one now okay and at q4 machine knows that ones should be skipped so all these ones will be skipped and the pointer will point on to this b now okay and at q4 machine knows that b should be made as a one so this b will be changed to one and the pointer will start pointing on to this particular previous one and we will be at state q5 at q5 machine knows ones should be skipped so all these ones will be skipped and the pointer will start pointing on to this zero and at q5 machine knows zero should be skipped so this move will be used and the zero will be skipped and the pointers will start pointing on to this one and at q6 machine knows ones should be skipped so all these ones will be skipped and the pointer will point on to this particular x now okay at q6 machine knows that 
xxr that means x should be skipped and the pointer will start pointing on to this next one and i'll reach onto the state q2 again okay at q2 one xr so this one will be changed to x go on to the right hand side then skip all these ones skip this zero and then come on to this q4 at q4 all these ones will be skipped i'll reach on to this blank this blank should be made as one come on to the left hand side again these ones will be skipped again this zero will be skipped with this move and then again uh, skip all these ones will be skipped and the pointer will start pointing on to this particular one now and i'll reach on to the state q2 again all this procedure will be same this will be changed to x this b will be changed to one and i'll come back here and i'll reach on to this zero and i'll be at q2 now at q2 machine knows that zero should be zero go on to the left hand side so this zero will be skipped and i'll reach on to this particular x now okay and i'll reach on to the state q7 at q7 machine knows all these x should be made as one so again all these x will be changed to one so this will be one this will be one this will be one again okay uh, or you can just write take these ones only so this will be one only and then the pointer will start pointing on to this particular zero and here at uh, q7 machine knows that zero should be skipped and this will come on to this particular blank now and i'll be at state q8 now okay at q8 it knows that bbr that means this b will be skipped and the pointer will start pointing on to this zero now and i'll reach at state q0 now at q0 i'm finding a zero what does that mean that means the first number is also over clear that means my work is complete so at q0 i'll take a move that means if you find a zero you make it as b and go on to the right hand side why i'm making this zero as b because uh, now my work is done so what i'll do i'll just uh, make everything as blank and make my pointer point on to this output side okay so till here everything i'll make it as a blank only so that means if you find a zero you make it as blank and go on to the right hand side let's move on to the state q9 and at q9 what i'll get i'll get several ones here so what will i do i will just simply take a self loop that means if you find a one you change it to b again and go on to the right hand side so these ones will be made as blanks only and the pointer will start pointing on to this zero here i'll take a move that means if you find a zero you make it as b and go on to the right hand side and go on to the state say q10 so this zero will also be made as b and the pointer will now point on to this output and this is the end of this turing machine so this is the turing machine for the multiplication of two unary numbers so i hope this is clear to you now thank you so much